Hi mates, and welcome back to my oldest tanks channel. I'm Anton off to as usual, and today I've got probably the funniest and most ridiculous game that I've ever played in World of Tanks so far. And this is a game that I had, I think, a week ago in my WZ132 on Abbey. And you can see I'm platooned up with my two mates, Redwood Forest and General Denny, both in their German artillery pieces. Now I've headed for the centre of the map, and um, I'm going for shots at this IS who's been spotted over there but unfortunately taking a shot at that guy meant that I got spotted but I um, just managed to finish him off getting my first kill and thus securing the first kill in the game as well so I was kind of getting into the way of that T-34-2 uh, so I drove forwards to avoid that and now I'm basically going for the typical light tank location on this map which is uh, the centre of the Abbey right here from which you can really get shots at the enemies trying to advance along the eastern side of the map and also through this kind of gorge here uh, next to the abbey. So you can see that I can't, could have a shot at this IS-8 but I decided not to go for it yet because uh, basically the target that I'm getting is not very big. But then I get the rear of this turret and I decide to take the shot doing some damage. So right now... Um, I'm still trying to get shots of these guys, but it's quite tricky because there are all these buildings in the way. Yeah, so this is a tier 10 game, but there are not all too many tier 10 tanks. So there are basically only three tier 10 tanks in each team. Uh, quite a few tier 9 tanks and quite a few tier 8 tanks. So it's actually, the matchup could be worse in this case. Now, what I um, try to do here is get shots up and over and the AMX 3090, who are both... Um, trying to progress along that gorge down there. Now the Louvre is aiming up at me, so I haven't got that much time to take the shot. I missed because I was kind of hasty there, but it turns out that the Louvre doesn't want to shoot at me. Maybe he hasn't got the gun elevation to hit me, I'm not quite sure. So the Louvre gets killed by the FE4202, and now there's a Tiger 2 over there. So I get a shot through the top of this turret, which you can quite often penetrate if you get a good angle or your gun has got a high caliber. And what you see me doing here is really stupid. Now, sometimes you can get over this wall if you've got enough momentum, but this time I don't manage and I get stuck on the wall. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to get out of this sticky situation, but I really can't, it seems. So I just decide to open fire at the T-34. Now he notices that I'm there. And he does something really stupid because he could have been holed down there, but he retreats, giving me shots at this hole. I think I may have tracked him there. He takes a shot at me, which hits. And I just retreats into cover before I can take him out. Now an AMX 3090 comes. Okay, that's T-34 and an AMX 3090 against me. And I'm stuck on this wall. And look at the AMX 3090. One more shot and I can take him out. Yeah, there we go. But I'm on very low health. But I got my second kill now. And now there's a T-34 over there. He wants to shoot me. He misses a shot and I manage to take him out, getting my third kill while I'm stuck on the wall. So I basically managed to take out a really stupid AMX 3090 and T-34, um, who both basically just really underestimated the firepower of this tank. Now an AMX 50 Fosh 155 is firing at me, which is a really dangerous target. I'm not sure why he's not firing again. Maybe that was the last shot in his autoloader clip. I'm not quite sure. But anyway, I was really lucky that I think that shot only hit my tracks. So that was like pure luck that um, my tracks absorbed that 155mm shell. Now I'm trying to get shots up at Tiger 2 there, but it seems like he's in cover. And I'm really trying to get off this really bad place in which I'm stuck. But it just doesn't seem to be happening. <laughs> so, yeah, the score is 7 to 8. And my friend, General Denny, has already picked up two kills in his GW Tiger. Now the score is 7 to 9, so it's not looking very well. Now I'm typing to my teammates, please give me a push, I'm stuck in chat. Because I really feel like, say, that uh, IS-8 or the FE-4202 could uh, help me out here so I'm basically ret repeatedly going to spam this message and chat because they just absolutely ignore me and um, I'm getting really frustrated with the situation here because yeah I oh yeah that's really cool I get a sniping shot at the rear of the turret of that M103 getting my fourth kill yeah what I was basically saying was that um, yeah I mean they could if one of them would just push me a little bit then I could kind of really get an active part in this game again and really, it's my fault. You should never really do this kind of stuff. And in this game, it actually worked out quite well for me. Actually, probably it was lucky that I got stuck in this wall because probably I wouldn't have performed as well as I did. But usually, you really shouldn't do this kind of stuff. 
So I think I get the tracking shot on about AT-15 there. Second shot doesn't connect. And the AT-15 is lost from vision. And I, I'm just really trying to move my tank, but it's just not going to happen, really. So the T-34-2 is telling me to press the A and D buttons repeatedly, but that's not working. And now the enemy artillery is spotted close to the enemy base. I don't notice that at this moment yet, because I'm still really obsessed with trying to move my tank out of the situation here. Uh, you can see that I'm not really reacting to changes on the battlefield. I'm I'm just really trying to somehow figure this out, but it's it's just not really helping. And there's the enemy artillery again, and um, I'm telling the FE4202 to give me a push chat, but he's not really doing anything. And there's the enemy Fosh155, uh, and he's advancing to engage the uh, the FE. And look at that! I did you see that? I just blind shot that artillery piece. That's quick you have a look at that again. So let's see. Yeah, okay, here we go. So um there's the Fosh 155. And look, there's the enemy artillery spotted. Now I'm just gonna quickly show you this in half time. Now one there's the um enemy artillery, he's uh, left my field of vision. And <laughs> Look at that, I get my fifth kill on the artillery. Like, that was a four second blind shot, I think. <laughs> that was just absolutely random. That was a really good example of how RNG can really work for you. That was probably, like, the most amazing blind shot I've ever pulled off in my World of Tanks career. <laughs> that was just, like, I wasn't even pre aimed at the target. And now this Fosh 155 is coming towards me, so I'm really getting scared here. But it doesn't seem like he's trying to engage with me. I, I really don't know what this guy's doing. Maybe he doesn't realize that I'm here. So you can see the camera kind of wobbling here. That's because I'm trying to <laughs> free myself from my imprisonment in this wall. But it really is not going to happen, it seems. So this FE4202, I'm not quite sure what health the Fosh is, but I really think that the FE could take the Fosh out, because this is a game from after patch 8.11, so usually the Fosh won't one-shot the FE. And really, we could still win this game, because it's an FE against a Fosh and object, and there's me too, so if the FE would give me a push, then maybe I could kind of uh, change the course of this battle. But the FE's being very cautious, and I mean, I can really understand it with a Fosh there. Um, but what the FE really has to do here is he has to really go in to uh, attack the Fosh, because we're kind of outnumbered, and you have to really play aggressively. Now, this guy, I mean, you know, credit where credit's due, this FE4202 is really trying to help me out. But he just realizes that he can't really reach me by the way he's coming around here. So he goes back again. And finally, he reacts to um, my calls for help in chat. And there, I make a really stupid mistake, which shows that I really wasn't paying much awareness uh, or much attention to what was happening on the battlefield. I tell the FE that the Fosh is in the enemy base. That's really stupid from me, uh, of me, actually, because I, <laughs> I should have known that the, uh, that the Fosh is uh, somewhere up here in the center of the monastery. Maybe, I, I'm not quite sure if I did realise that he was coming towards me, or maybe I just figured out that he retreated to their base to defend it, I, I'm not sure. Yeah, probably that's what I thought, I probably thought that the Fosh went back to uh, their base because he came up here and then didn't find anything up here, so he went back to their base. So, yeah, probably, I mean, I'm not sure, but... Uh, Anyway, definitely what I'm saying in chat is wrong here. And the FE 4202 knows it better, you know, he, he's telling me negative. So, um... <laughs> my pal General Denny's getting quite frustrated in chat. He's <laughs> telling somebody to spot because, yeah, he can't really do anything. And, I, you know, I'm feeling really frustrated at this point too because 
Uh, I cannot affect the outcome of the battle in any way at this point. So the FE402 finally um, <laughs> gives in to everybody beefing at him <laughs> and, and um, starts to attack. And uh, you know, I must say that the FE402 played quite a good game here. Uh, so he takes a pot shot at the Fosh, which didn't hit, and he has to be careful because the Fosh is on very high health, and really in a front-on engagement, the Fosh will always come out on top. The Fosh is in a really strong position there, uh, but the only weakness that he's got there is Arty. And my friend, General Denny, has taken a shot at him, but you can see in the chat he's reloading now for 39 seconds, so he's just taking a shot at the Fosh, and we'll have to hope that he hit him. Now you can see the FE4202 actually doing quite a good thing, he is retreating, because at this point he didn't know whether uh, General Denny had hit the Fosh or not. The Object 704 has been spotted by uh, the GW Tiger, and now the FE4202 is trying to help my mate out, but uh, it's too late, and General Denny's down, but uh, the FE is still going in. We don't really know how much health the object has. I think it's 300, but I'm not quite sure. Uh, no, it's actually 700, so now it's 340. Okay, so that was quite a massive hit by the FE there. And I take a blind shot, hoping to hit him, but I, I don't think that one uh, connected. So there's the object again, we see that it didn't hit. Sorry for that. Uh, fire another shot. And we don't know what the Fosh... Oh, there's the Fosh, okay. So, the FV is in a really sticky situation now. He has to quickly take out that Fosh in order to win this game, because otherwise the Object 704 will come from behind. So, you can see... the And, oh my gosh, there's the Object. Okay, the Fosh gets a big hit into him, and the Object rounds him to death. But, um, at least the... Uh, FV still got a shot into the Fosh. Now, at this point, I know that they should know where I am. So I'm getting ready to... Uh, I I'm getting ready to defend my position here. And you can see me loading APC ammo now, because I really at least want to take down this Fosh when he comes in, because he's in one-shot range of me. And if I'm lucky, I could maybe still even win this game if they are all stupid enough to come to me. But, you know, really, uh, if they come to me, even uh, I usually will lose, unless I'm, like, really lucky. So, and that, they are capping. I ca and by the speed of the cap counters going up, we can tell that actually both of them are capping. But why would they do that? I mean, the chances that I would win an engagement with them are really slim. And they should know where I am. And they, they're just capping out. <laughs> I really don't know why they're doing this. And I'm desperately trying trying to uh, yeah free myself from this location here, but it's just not going to happen. I'm stuck for good here. So I fire off one blind shot in frustration. Reloading. And yeah, the cap's complete. I fire off another blind shot. And <laughs> what? The Object 704 just team killed the Fosh. He didn't just do that, did he? Why, why would you do that? Seriously? I mean, <laughs> I think what he wanted to do is he realised that it was kind of stupid to cap and probably he got killed really and wanted to have a kill on me. So probably he kills the Fosh in order to break the cap and then uh, come round and kill me. But, you know, seriously, <laughs> that's so stupid. That's such a stupid thing to do. I mean, okay, obviously, I you know, it's kind of a pot calling the pe kettle black here, isn't it? Because really, if it comes to stupidity, I can't throw the first stone, can I? <laughs> I got stuck on the wall. But, you know, still, <laughs> I didn't team kill anybody. And that's like, <laughs> I mean, this game just had it all. It had team killing, it had getting stuck and having a good game, it had an awesome blind shot. <laughs> this was just probably the funniest round of World of Tanks I've ever had so far. Um, so, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. And um, to see how this game panned out exactly, let's have a look at the post-game stats.
So here are the results of that game. I managed to pick up 81,483 credits and 1,112 experience and on a defeat a third class mastery badge. On the team score, <laughs> I got 618 base experience, 4 being stuck on a wall, 5 kills and nearly 2.5k damage. We can see that I fired 21 shots of which 14 hit and 13 penetrated, which is yeah alright. Uh, I dealt out this 2500 damage received, 4 hits of which obviously 4 penned and 1 did splash damage. Now interestingly that one lucky shot was where the shell of the fosh was absorbed by my tracks. I received 1630 potential damage as a consequence of that, um, so the fosh shot had quite a big input in that. I detected one enemy and uh, damaged 9 destroyed 5 and also picked up 385 spotting damage. So yeah, <laughs> both of the results of that game and um, I, I really, when I first, when I, after I played this game on the live server, I was literally laughing my ass off. It was just so, so ridiculous. This should never have happened the way it did. I mean, uh, the enemy team in some stages was so incompetent. <laughs> you know, uh, for example, at AMX 1390 and the T-34, both failing to take me out. And uh, then that amazing blind shot at the enemy, I think it was the SU... 212 or is it object 212 i'm not sure but anyway the russian artillery piece uh, that, that game was just so so funny so i hope you thought um, you found it as uh, entertaining as i did if you did consider giving it a thumbs up below or even subbing to my channel and uh, probably tomorrow i'll be doing another review of maybe the Jagd panther i'm not quite sure but um yeah Keep a watch, um, keep a look out for that on the channel, and I hope I see you then, or in one of my other videos, or maybe even on the battlefield. So, um, yeah, bye-bye.